Bleeding gums are the result of an inflammatory disease of the gums. The physician calls this condition gingivitis. Healthy gums don't bleed, even in the case of an irritation, such as brushing the teeth. They fit tightly around the teeth, have a light pink color, and when observed at close range, show a fine stippling, like an orange, demonstrated here by the white arrows. Bleeding gums are always a sign of gum disease. Oftentimes, you don't notice the bleeding directly. Only when you brush your teeth, or when lightly probed, as shown here, is there a noticeable loss of blood. Bleeding gums in themselves are a symptom and not a disease. The disease associated with bleeding gums is an inflammation of the gums, so-called gingivitis. You can find out more in the video with the same name. In this image, you see that some of the stippling, the white arrow, has partially disappeared. The gums are dark red and swollen, as shown by the black arrows. These are the first signs of gingivitis. The most frequent cause of gingivitis is plaque. So plaque not only causes caries, but also an inflammation of the gums. More on that in the video entitled Plaque. Although plaque-inducing gingivitis may be influenced by various factors, such as medications or hormonal changes, like, for example, pregnancy, puberty, or taking birth control medication, plaque is always the trigger that gets the ball rolling. If the inflammation of the gums is not treated or treated incorrectly, then the inflammation may turn into a chronic inflammation of the periodontal apparatus, or so-called periodontitis. You can find out more in the video entitled Periodontitis. Other causes of gingivitis are, for example, fungal diseases, congenital or genetic diseases, or irritations due to foreign objects, such as protruding crown margins or filling edges. When treating gingivitis, determining the cause is the first step. In most cases, professional oral hygiene, the removal of the cause or causes, and educating the patient are sufficient to treat gingivitis. Periodontitis cannot be treated with oral hygiene alone. Treatment can only be accomplished through a periodontal treatment.